Hey everyone, welcome back. This is DHTV and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can remove some of the annoying stock applications from your iPhone, iPad or iPod Touch running iOS 7. Now if you hate new standard, you want to get rid of Passbook or even delete your messages app, this is the only true way to do it without hacking or jailbreaking your iPhone. Let's get started. All right, so before we can get started, we do need to go over a few things to ensure that it runs smoothly and everything gets deleted properly. First off, you wanna make sure that your home screen is filled with applications. Each block has an application in it. It can't look like this, there can't be any gaps. Everything has to be filled. Secondly, you wanna make sure that one of the blocks is actually a folder. So this one right here is my folder. And if you don't know how to create a folder, you simply hold on an application and drag it over another. Now it doesn't matter which applications go where or what applications you use, you just need to make sure that the home page is filled. Once you've filled your home screen, what we wanna do now is actually take the application or applications we wanna delete and move them into our dock here. So you can actually pull one application down or you can actually put a full folder of applications like I have right here. I will show you both versions. What we're gonna do first though is move out one of these applications in our dock by holding and dragging. And now I'm gonna take the music app, which is a stock application, and I'm gonna pull it down into my dock. You can go ahead and hit the home button and move back to your main page. Now at this point, things are gonna get a little bit tricky. What we're gonna actually do is hold on the music app and double tap the home button almost simultaneously. So it'll look like this. Now, as you can see, this opened up the multitask feature, but if you actually swipe across and tap back to your home screen here, you notice that the app that I wanted to delete is sort of bigger. It's much larger than the other applications. This is exactly what we want. And now we're gonna actually tap to open up our folder here. So the folder has been opened. And what we're gonna do at this point is simply tap away and now you can see that the application is sort of moved over and it's kind of lost. And what we're gonna do here is just hit the home button and you can see that the application has been deleted. Now, in order to get the applications back, all you have to do is just power down your device. All right, and when you power it back on, the applications will reappear. They may appear in different areas depending on how many applications you've deleted at once. You can see my music app is back. So once again, let's go ahead and do this. I'm gonna show you how to delete a full group of applications. So what I did was put all the applications I wanna delete in one folder, and we're gonna go ahead and pull that down into our dock. Once again, you need to make sure you have a full set of applications on the main screen. So now what we're gonna do is the same process. We're gonna hold on the folders app. I'm just gonna take it out of this dancing mode here. We're gonna hold our finger on the folders app as we double tap the home button, so like this. And you'll see that again, the application looks a little bit larger when we go back to our home screen. We're then gonna open up a folders application we're then going to touch out of the folders application and you'll see that you have three applications in your dock now and the fourth one is sort of grayish and larger. Now from this stage we're just going to go ahead and tap the home button and once you've done that you'll see they're no longer on your phone and to return them to your phone as I showed you before you go ahead and power down your device and then restart it. Anyway guys I hope you found this helpful. If you did share it with your friends let them know where you found this idea or this trick. Also hit that like button it helps me out a lot and don't forget to subscribe for more videos on the iPhone 5C, 5S, as well as iOS 7. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.